Dr Ahmed, uh, simply put, what is mitochondrial donation? Can you explain this to us? Yeah, sure. So mitochondrial donation is a fairly new technique which is being proposed to actually overcome a severe genetic defect in some people. So in mitochondrial disease, there is often a mutation in a little piece of DNA called mitochondrial DNA, which is inherited from the mother alone. And it's a little piece of DNA which doesn't actually control any of our personal characteristics like our hair or eye colour or our intelligence or personality. It's just to control some of the functioning of the mitochondria, which are like the batteries in the cell. Mm -hmm. So mitochondrial donation, when there's a mutation in that little piece of DNA, actually replaces that with some donor mitochondrial DNA. So the baby produced would still get all of the nuclear DNA from the mother and the father, uh, so still be their biological child, but that tiny little bit of DNA where there was a problem would be replaced with a piece of donor DNA. When would this be considered? So this would be considered in people with a family history of mitochondrial disease. So the problem here is that if a mother has a mutation, then all of her children will carry that mutation. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily predict that they will all have severe mitochondrial disease, but at this current state, there is no way of actually producing a baby without the mutation um, when it's the biological child of that mother. So a lot of the people that are considering this technology will be people who have already had uh, children who have actually passed away from mitochondrial disease, sometimes early in infancy, and would like to have a healthy child going forward. So how common is this? And, and right now, what options do these families have? Well, the options are unfortunately very limited, so they can take their chances. They know their baby will have the mutation that the mother carries, but they may have a less severe form of mitochondrial disease. They can use an egg donor, but then in that case, the baby would have the nuclear DNA of the donor, not the mother, so it would not be the mother's biological child, um, or they can choose not to have any further children. So this technique, it's not legal in Australia yet. Why is it controversial? I mean, are there ethical questions to be answered? What's the problem? I think one of the things we call it makes it controversial by calling it three-parent IVF. It mm -hmm. implies that it uh, is creating a baby that has three biological parents, but this is really uh, stretching the truth. So in reality, we are replacing 37 genes in the mitochondrial DNA with the donor um, mitochondrial DNA, but we are, there are over 30,000 genes coming from the nucleus, um, from the mother and the father. So this tiny fraction of DNA that's being donated and which does not create any of the characteristics of the baby aside from making their mitochondria work properly, has made some people say that it's a three parent baby and that then scientists are playing God and that they're changing the genetic makeup of this baby. And to a degree they are, but it's very much a therapeutic intervention, not one creating a designer baby, mm -hmm. so to speak. Do you expect this to pass? And if it does, I mean, do you have any idea how soon the technique could be used here in Australia? Oh, I'm very hopeful that it will pass. I think that there's been good support from all sides of politics, recognising the, the severe suffering that mitochondrial disease patients and their parents actually go through. Um, and the potential to alleviate that suffering. Um, so I'm hopeful that nothing is over until it's actually gone through. And then as to when it can start up, it would initially be done on a trial basis. And I'm sure that it will take time to actually become available. Um, but there are people out there who are ready and waiting mm. to go. And is this safe? Do we know if it's taking place in other countries? Can we get a gauge on that? Uh, there's very limited information currently available. So there have been several children born. Um, it's been done, it's legal in the UK, it's been done in Mexico, but there's very limited information yet available on the outcomes of those pregnancies. Um, it theoretically looks like it should be safe, but we don't know if long term there may be some problems that we run into. Um, but the fact is that the families that want to utilise this technology don't have any other option and uh, understanding that there may be at the moment a dearth of information available.